Hello and welcome to Drop Cowboy. Uh, thank you for taking the time to view how to create your first campaign. Uh, this campaign uh, video is designed once you have already upgraded your membership uh, and have funded your account. As you can see, my account is funded and ready to go and I am on an upgraded membership. If you have not already done so, please review one of the other videos. We're gonna go ahead and create our first campaign. By clicking you create your first campaign button, you will be brought to the section. This is a four step process. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and name our campaign this test. Now, this section is gonna be in order for the track all your campaigns. So if you have a certain specific list you want, uh, Northern California, Southern California, Texas, or whatever, you're gonna go ahead and label that campaign uh, of however you wanna actually track this in detail. Now, you can directly send a voicemail blast from your own personal phone. So if you're a one man show and you want, to, you want calls to ring your cell phone or your landline, go ahead and click call or text my phone directly. And you do have the ability to actually answer that phone number right there. So if we were to do this, I will actually type in my cell phone number uh, and click that button. And you know, I can go ahead and pick mobile lines only or mobile lines and landlines. They both have different rates, so make sure you check whichever one you want to actually only deliver to. So we're going to go ahead and click mobile only and so on, move on next. Uh, for this tutorial, we will uh, start with a local number that I previously configured in one of the last videos. Uh, this number was configured in IVR tree and it has a SMS auto response phone number already attached. So we're going to click keep my phone number private. <clears throat> We're going to pick the rented number that I previously set up. When anyone receives a voicemail, it will come directly from this number. Now, when I call that number back, it will route to whatever phone number I set it as to route to. So this won't actually ring my drop cowboy, but it will be forwarded to my cell phone for these purposes. Uh, so we're going to click that phone number. If you do have multiple phone numbers, you go, can go ahead and pick, choose whatever one you want to display. Uh, if you are doing a Texas campaign or so on and you don't have a Texas number, you can go ahead and rent a new number right there and configure it while you're in this section. We're gonna click mobile numbers only and we're gonna move on to the next step. This is gonna be your CSV file. This is where you're gonna load all your contacts. I'm gonna go on and pick a list I previously made right here. I'm gonna drop it into the file and it's gonna load. Uh, the bigger the list, the longer it takes to load, so please be a little patient. Uh, it will take just maybe a minute. Uh, if you do have a header, make sure you do click my first row as my header, and it will remove that header first. We don't have a header, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna populate this, this uh, phone number section right there. Uh, you can populate, you know, first name, last name, title, company, and so on, uh, and it will populate across. So the only one that actually is very important is the phone number. So make sure you do uh, make sure that that is populated right there. So I'm gonna go move on to the next step. The third step is recording your message. If you do not have a professionally recorded message, you can definitely uh, use one um, by calling in or create one by calling into this phone number right here. When you call in this phone number, you'll be asked to enter your specific PIN. This PIN is unique only to you and your campaign. By entering that PIN, it'll say, please record your message after the tone. You will then record your message uh, that will be actually sent to people's uh, mobile phones and or landlines. Uh, after the recording, you'll have uh, the ability to review your call. Uh, and it will say if you are uh, interested in moving forward, you know, press this button. When you do say I accept these, this voicemail, it will uh, upload the voicemail onto your Drop Cable account and then you can move to step four. If you have previously recorded a voicemail, you can go ahead and use an existing recording and all your recordings will be displayed right here. If you have a professional recorded voicemail from another service, you can go ahead and upload the file right here and move on. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and use one of our previous recorded voicemails. We're going to select it and we're going to move on to the next step. <clears throat> step four is scheduling delivery. Now, we do have the ability to deliver it right now. It will deliver the, all seven contacts I have in my list, or 10,000 or 100,000, whatever you may be sending to, it will deliver it as we speak right now. Or if you wanted to schedule a delivery, we can go ahead and schedule a specific time and date where this system will launch it off. Uh, we do have a drip functionality where we could actually drip a specific amount of voicemails per hour for specific time frames and dates. For instance, if you're a call center and you have uh, one to two reps, in order to field incoming calls, I would recommend between 150, 200 per rep per hour. So if I have two reps, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up for 400. 
any higher than that, um, I wouldn't recommend just because reps won't be able to keep up with calls. Uh, and then when my, my campaign will start Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Or we can just collect maybe one date, set that off and so on, and we can go from there. Whatever parameters, uh, time zone you're in, you can set your time zone and so on, and it will fire off that at a later date. For instance, we have, do have a couple call centers that load a list of you know a couple hundred thousand um, phone numbers, and they set the parameters for the days they are working, uh, and that way they set it once and they forget about it for a week, and then they set up another next week campaign and so on. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up and hit our terms and condition. I accept these terms, I am not a robot, and move on to the next step. For this tutorial, we will be delivering it now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that, hit that. I accept, I am not a robot. And we will be sending this off now. By clicking this next button, it will fire it off as we speak. We're gonna fire this voicemail off right now. It is in progress. Our system is talking to multiple carrier servers and moving forward in uh, giving you the ability to drop your marketing message directly to individual cell phones. Thank you for this tutorial. Um, if you have any uh, questions regarding setting up your first campaign, please feel free to email us at support at dropcowboy.com or feel free to email us at info at dropcowboy.com or give us a call. We'd be happy to discuss uh, setting up your campaign in more detail. Thank you and have a great day.